What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Cornwell Monday. Mr. Joe has got a lot of new cool stuff, so you guys come take a look. There's so man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard Mississippi. What's up guys? How y'all doing today? Of course it's Monday. What another great day. So we're going to talk about this old wrench right here. It's an old Cornwall wrench. One of Clay's subscribers watching Cornwall Monday called me because I go in his area didn't know their shop was there called Crawl Daddy's Body Shop in Baldwin and uh, Sir made me come there. Well, he gave me this here. It's an old wrench that last sold in 1979, $29.95. Inch and a half, inch and five eighths. Just a big bad boy. It'll go with the, uh, one day I'm gonna pull out all the old tools. And we'll do a show just on that. But I well, thank Mr. Kevin at Crawl Daddy's. I thought that was kind of cool. Also kind of cool, Mr. Clay here. Is in the bucket of cash once again. It needs to be pulled. Hopefully, it can be his. That's right. I I don't pull the name, so I can't have no control over that. But everybody who won that wins that is happy. We're going to talk about Milwaukee batteries. The big five O's what come with a half inch and everything. Then they had the big bad boy at nine O. Now there's a twelve point O. That's a big one. Now the twelve point O. It's not a whole lot bigger than the 9-0, but you got a whole lot more run time. Now, why would you need a 12.0 battery? Maybe because you now have a new chainsaw. Hmm. Oh, I put the brake down. There we go. Now, it takes bar oil like any chainsaw would. Otherwise, you end up locking up the blade, creating too much friction. It has a brake, which is good. I have it on all the time, so people don't try cutting up my tool truck by mistake. It's 20% faster than a gas chainsaw, side-by-side, -side, heads on, because of the direct drive of the motor versus gas. This will also cut 156 inch round logs on a charge. That's what the box says. Probably does more. Most Milwaukee stuff does a little more than what they advertise. Which brings us to, we'll talk about the half inch. I got a customer earlier today, works at Grand Concrete. They were working on some machinery where they got to put lugs on something. They got to torque them down to 1,600 foot pounds. Torque wrench, multiplier, it's got to be exact. So anyways, he figured he'd just see just how bad this was. He said he was either going to test it and it was going to wimp out or it was going to succeed. Well, he put this on, those lug nuts, and he says he hammered a little bit more than he normally would, but he made sure it didn't move. They were trying to torque off, you know, testing it, see what it would take. Let's put them on at 1,550 foot-pounds, which is cool. He was amazed, I mean, so, they are strong, no doubt. That's the one key, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we're, we'll talk about the one key in our time. Right now, we're gonna get into the new 3 8 new 3 8 gun. You can see the part number right here. There we go, 2852. It is just a little bit bigger in size than the old 3 8 but it's built up from the ground up. 600 foot pounds breakaway torque. It is the bad boy of 3 8 guns. Uh, 450 foot and on. Wow, so this is, this is it. It just rocks and rolls. You know, like that sign says, nothing but heavy duty. Milwaukee tool, you got it. That is, that's unbelievable for 3 8. <laughs> Same thing with their half inch. Who would believe 
few years ago that a half inch gun would be 1,400 foot pounds breakaway torque, stronger than anybody's air impact. That's true. Back to the 12 volt batteries. There's a table saw that's coming out. I'll be having one shortly that comes with the 12 amp hour battery. Beginning of next year, there's a one inch impact, but I'll tell you more about that. I know all the numbers, but we'll have something to play with later. But that's what's coming. Red back boots. Got our boots from Australia. I think most people see and use them. They're lightweight. They hold up good. Oil resistant, so you're not slipping when you're walking on the floor. That's all, you know, got some oilers, antifreeze stuff on it. Most guys get two to five years on these. Wow, that's good. They're 190 bucks. But when you order them, you got to make sure your guy's ordering. You got to give your two guy the right size because in Australia, their sizes versus China, we're going to speak the other size. When you order uh, 10, you're getting the 11 here. So your guy's got to know to order one size smaller. If you're getting them from China. If you need a 10, you need to order a 12. It's just, it's just the way it is with belts and everything else. But you, they're just lightweight. They don't weigh anything. They're not hot. They're great boots, and they hold up. Very nice boots. Collection of boots, whatever kind of work you work on, work with. And then on the back side, they got hats, insoles, socks, Australian wax if you want to put wax on your boots. And that is the red back. Thank you. Oh, we got a magic trick for you. Watch this. And wow, we're in the two box showroom. It's been a while since we've been in here. You've seen these here. This one here I'm delivering this week. Cornwall Bad Boy. It's one of a kind because I had it wrapped uh, myself. It's wrapped all the way around. But these here, I mean, they're just nice. You got steel locking latches, seven mil pads. This here is made to hold 2,000 pounds of tools. The wheels are made convex so that it's easy to pull one hand, which is nice. We have here the monster cart. It's a four drawer, top goes down. Well, I got it kind of stuck in there, so it's not going to. Um, everybody's color plus you got a monster. Very nice. These here are uh, 800 bucks. We have over here Cornwall Pro Series box. And you can see it is clean. But look at that. It's even a used box. But looking at the outside, you'd never know it. Not diesel. But it's not been abused. So what I do when a guy buys a toolbox from me and he buys something bigger, I give him everything he paid for it up front because I said, take decent care of it. That's what I do. I gave him that, but now I'm going to sell it at a lower price because it is used. But the next guy will get benefit the same way. He buys this, later buys a bigger box from me. I'll give him everything he paid for as long as he keeps it in decent shape. Looks pretty much like it did. This guy is, is probably one of the better guys. I mean, this is all the way around. It's just clean. Right. So four grand. I thought it was new when we yeah. first came in here. Everybody does. This here is a new monster box. 72 inches, 25, 17 drawer, three bank. It has steel locking latches. Opens all the way. This is the first time this store has been open all the way. Got the nice top on them. It's a very nice box. What is something like this one around? I'm at six grand on this one. It's a nice box. 72 by 25. 
Yep. I like how tall it is. It is nice, you know. It's very tall. You don't have to reach far to grab your your drink. <laughs> All right, guys, if y'all are interested in any of these products that were shown today, I'll put Mr. Joe's card at the end of this video. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down here below, and we will catch you guys next time. Good day, mate. Enjoy the rest of your day. Y'all have a great one.